Hello YouTube, Jay from JT Custom Creations. I hope all is well with you. What we're going to do today is we're going to hook up our new fuel pump to our new relay setup because our new fuel pump requires 20 amps and the original fuel pump was 15 amps. So we have to run a new wire from the fuel pump up through here to connect to our relay. Then what we're going to do is we are going to run two wires over to our fan assemblies so we have a high speed and a low speed fan because I think what I'm going to do is going to run two fans instead of the original fan that is uh, high speed and low speed. So I think I'm going to run two fans. Not sure yet but we'll see. But at least the lines will be here just in case. Okay? All right. Step one, go get a cup of coffee. <laughs> All right, so we have put in our fuel pump back in and uh, the fuel pump replacement uh, video I'll put right here. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut our pink and we're going to leave the black and we're going to leave these two greens all we need is our pink lead okay and this is 12 gauge all right this is 12 gauge wire i'm going with the blue and so what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this lead this will go to the fuse box we, uh, and we don't need this connection okay so we're going to use a soldering iron because we do not want to just wire these together and then tape them up with black tape you want to be able to solder these and make sure that they are good So I strip back and put the heat shrink. When you're doing this, make sure that if you decide you want to use a butane uh, soldering iron, make sure that, you know, obviously gas, gas vapors, gas goes boom. Okay, so you want to make sure that uh, you're sealed up or you have plenty of ventilation blowing through. So uh, any flame near the gas tank, that's a bad idea. How are we doing on this? All right, here we go. So you want to hold your soldering iron up against the wire, put some solder on the iron, and then you want to solder, you want to see the solder flow within the wire. And then just finish it off with the heat shrink. And there you have it. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this, okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a little hole in here 
and then I'm going to put a grommet in. So even though this is a piece of plastic, well, I might just I might just put a hole in here, and then we'll silicone that later on. So this will just come right through here because this is the steel for this. Our wire will just come right through here, and we'll just run it along over here. We'll run it up that way and up into the fuse box. Okay, that's what we're gonna do now. Just like that. Small little hole right through there. Run our wire through. And then what we'll do is once we're done, we'll just put a little drop of silicone on here so no water comes in. This guy's just gonna go like this. He'll sit like that. And I got him pushed all the way down here. So he's out of the way. We're just gonna feed him through here, along here, up and through the wheel well, and then to the fuse box. Okay, and then he's gonna come up through here there we go all right so once you have this pulled through where you want it now again I have this pulled through through the side up through the fender well inside and now I'm going to run this and attach it over here to a relay. So I'm going to cut this guy here. All right. So that's a spade crimp. Uh, and a spade bit, this way you can disconnect it if something goes wrong. And we're just gonna, from here, go into 12. And I always wanna give a yank on it, make sure that it's connected good. Then I'll use some wire ties and just tie this up. Okay, uh, now let's give it a test. Okay, so these lights here, these LEDs are to inform you that you have a blown fuse. All right, we're using relay number one. Uh, this is 20 amps circuit here. Now the reason why these are lit is because this is uh, ignition power or switched power. So when you turn the key, this comes that will get activated okay right now this is the cable that goes to that and I don't have it hooked up to ignition power just yet I have to find uh, a fuse in the fuse box that I'm going to use for that uh, and I'm probably going to use the old fuel pump circuit so when the key comes on the fuel pump will come on when the key comes on it will feed this whole entire side okay uh, so we're just going to hit here this is our uh, live power and you can hear the fuel pump going okay that's how that's gonna work all right, job done. Move on to the next thing.